بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, إن شاء الله today I chose for you very short حديث v- excuse me very short حديث okay and the حديث uh, I choose it to be very short so you can try to memorize it can you turn it down a little bit Habib? Because I want you to learn it to memorize it, okay? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam This is the hadith, okay? It's very short, but it's very important also. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying, "Ad-du'a'u huwa al-ibada." Say it. Ad-du'a'u huwa al-ibada. Ad-du'a'u هو العبادة. One time more. Anybody know what is dua mean? Dua. Anybody? Children. Anybody heard about dua? You never heard somebody say make dua for me? Okay. Nobody know? Wow. Well, somebody. Somebody? Okay. Who? Yes. Fuse? Food? Did you eat lunch? <laughs> All right. Yes. I know you know. Inshallah. Go ahead. Um, that is like, um, like when you're asking Allah for like, maybe to make you feel better if you're sick. Okay. Very good. So can you give me an English word for the word dua? English word. Yes. One word. Almost close. Huh? Anybody? Okay, adults. Yes, ma'am. No, no, too much adult. Between children, between. Them. Yes. Supplication, supplication, to supplicate, asking Allah. Okay, simple word. Let's go with the Imam is English symbol. Okay, asking Allah or. Begging Allah, and I would like the word begging more, all right? You know, you don't like to beg, is it? Nobody like begging. And when somebody says, oh, can I have this? Can I get Can I get some? Stop begging, okay? Because it's supposed to be something bad. Yes, it's bad to beg people, but it is very good to beg Allah. And this is very important that we need to train ourselves how to beg Allah, because Allah loves you when you beg Him. Because when you beg in Allah, that means you're humbling yourself. You're debasing yourself. You're putting yourself down for Allah. You put your, don't put yourself down to anyone. But for Allah, it's okay that you can do this. So the dua is to ask Allah, to beg Allah, that to give you something. And there is many things that we need and we want. Is it right, no? There is many things that we like to have or we want. And I will advise you before you ask your dad or your mom or your teacher or whosoever, say, oh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to buy it for me or not. I don't know if my dad going to give it to me or not. All these things. Tfadal. So what about you turn to Allah first? Turn to Allah, regardless if you make salah or you are not making salah, it's time for salah or whatever it is, you can go in salah and ask Allah, or without even salah, ask Allah. Beg Allah. Like you say, Dad, please, please, Dad, please, I beg of you, and you keep doing like this. You know how somebody used to, huh? Please, please, huh? we need to learn to do this with Allah. It's very important, okay? It's very important. And some people say, but this is not a big thing, you understand? I can ask anybody for this. We need to learn to ask Allah for anything and for everything. Even if it's something so small. Say, oh, I know, I can ask my dad, he can buy this for me. You never know, maybe your daddy said, no, I'm not buying it. Okay, but it is good that we turn to Allah, boys, 
This is very bad. Very bad. The Imam is talking, teaching, and there's something very important, and you're still playing. You have a lot of time to be playing. That we always have to turn to Allah first before a human being. Before you turn to the people, your teacher, your father, your mother, will be good that you turn to Allah and ask Allah. Allah is Sami' Allah is Alim. Allah is as Sami' and Allah is al Alim. Allah is all here. He hears everything. He sees and he hears. Even the ants, you know the ants can be crawling and you, you could not even feel it. You don't know there is an ant in you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he see it and he know it. Okay? So Allah is well acquainted with everything. So let's always turn to Allah and humble ourselves and raise our hand, asking Allah, Oh Allah, please give me this. Okay? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's saying what? Ad-du'a'u huwa al-ibadah. Some of those people that Allah loves them, stop, stop. This is not good. I'm talking, you listen. Some of those people that Allah loves them, those people who beg him, those people who ask him, those people who beseech him, those people who turn to him, turn to Allah in everything, small or big. Always let Allah, the closer one to you, Ask him before you ask anybody else. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one can help you and give you what you want. Okay? Doesn't matter if it's big or small. This is our hadith for today. We want to practice it in our salah, in our sujood, out of salah, in salah, a time of difficulty, time of ease at all time. Because Allah loves those who beg him and ask him. All right, before I close, we thank the sister who thought about this project, and we go to try before the school is over. We have what, about three, four weeks more? Approximately less than this? One more week. One more week? Yeah. This is it? Two. Two? Okay. All right, I was going to say that, two. okay, okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many. This okay. You ask Brother Mahmoud about it, okay? Sister Afros, they know about it. I don't know, okay? That we will try to make our goals that we fill the jar before the school is over. But it seems, I don't think so. But, oh Allah, make the jar is full before the school is over. Let's break this the dua. And I want you, inshallah, instead of you putting it, that you let your children not even give them the check or the 20 dollars and say put it in the jar try when you leave in next week tell them did you take some money for the homeless for the poor and the needy okay if you giving your child uh, a stipend or what you call it a, a dollar a day or a dollar a week whatever that we want them to learn how to give from their own money. So to be something practical in their life. Okay? Instead of telling them, here, put this in the jar. No. Ask them to get some of their own jar and put it here, inshallah. But don't worry about it. If we could not have it, inshallah, by next week, we will have the jar for the next semester, inshallah. So those who would like to donate something today, the jar is here. If you don't have it, you know, say, Oh Allah, please let my mom or my dad or the imam or whosoever you understand, give me some money so I can put it in the jar for the homeless. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. And I want to make one last announcement before we close. Uh, we have a class. I don't know how many of you know about it. Every Saturday in the morning after Salat al-Fajr. We'd like you to be part of it. But in one of these classes, we had came to a conclusion that we want to do something for our masjid, for our community, for the Muslims in general. Okay? Something to help all of us, doesn't matter who you are. You can be homeless or not homeless. Some of us homeless in a different way. That means we are distant from Allah. We are distant from our deen. 
We are distant from each other. So we decide that we're going to have a meeting on the 9th. I'm inviting you. We're going to come and sit and talk. There is no any agenda. We want everybody, okay? Arab and non-Arab, American, non-American, everybody that will come and give your opinion, give your idea, share your thoughts with us, how we can help the community to be a better community. And I want to share one thing for you, with you before I close. My wife went to visit for a couple of weeks in Florida, and she was amazed. The mask, how big, they have a clinic, free clinic, they have a full-time school, now they're going to build a place for university, and they have a half of the school. I say, wow, what I'm doing here got stuck in community in Colombia for this 35 years, we did not even have one full line in Salat al-Isha or Salat al-Fajr. Say about almost 1,200 people making Juma. They have more than one Juma because the mask could not fail. They're going to build. Oh, by the way, we have somebody here from Florida. Maybe can he give us some? Uh, but this is what my wife brought and told me about it. I was so amazed to know. And she was not feeling good. And somebody told her the mask has a free clinic, goes there. And for sure she went there. And she saw a sister there. And they have a list with about 12 doctors for this flea clinic every day. And they have even free medicine. We need to do something for ourselves, for our community, for our masjid. So please, if you can make it Saturday coming at 6 o'clock, I will appreciate this. Zakum la khairan. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiraka wa natubu ilayk.